good morning you guys welcome welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you guys are new here if you guys are new make sure to hit that subscribe button and of course watch this full video so this week is going to be another week in the life currently it is april 9th saturday april 9th and your girl is off today however i picked up this volunteer opportunity it's four hours long it's like this easter egg hunt and i guess they have different tents and our tent our hospital tent is like a health type of thing i don't know they didn't really give much details about it but i'm just trying to make a little extra money you know what i'm saying so that's what we have on the agenda today currently it's 907 i have to be there at one email said 10 another email said 10 30 so i'll be there in between so it's an hour away let me put in the address now but yeah y'all i'm actually off for the next four days thank you jesus thank you jesus because whew, i need it <laughs> like i just be waiting for my off days like i'll be waiting and i went straight from vacation to work so i just i just needed this vacation so let's get on the road and start this vlog if you want it if i hate you make me feel just like this what i would do to make you feel just like this today is the next day i didn't end up letting you guys know how the easter egg hunt went yesterday but it was a good time it was a good little four hours of paid work all we really did was hand out candy and books to the kids told some people about our hospital passed out flyers pretty much that was it we wasn't really doing nothing major but now it's sunday i am on the way to brunch with my friend i drove all the way to her house and realized i did not have my phone i had to find her house without gps she only lived like 10 minutes away but she just moved like if you guys know i only have one friend that lives in tennessee and she was my neighbor when we had our apartment and she also moved the same time we moved because we was like we are not paying 300 dollars rent we tried to be neighbors again but it didn't work out so she lived 10 minutes now so i had to find her house without gps and I'm pulling in and she's pulling out. I'm like, oh lord, she done let me stop and was like, girl, you don't see your phone. I'm like, girl, I left my phone. I was rushing. I left my phone. She was like, okay, I'll follow you. So I'm gonna um go ahead and go back to my house and get my phone. Luckily, my house is on the way, so I'm not too far out. I was too busy vlogging <laughs> and I just didn't even realize I didn't even have my phone. But I was telling you guys that my new neighbor is like very difficult like so the first day that we moved she knocked on our door and was like hey can you move your car out of our parking spot and so i'm like okay whatever keep in mind this was literally the day that we moved in so we're still moving stuff out of our car so for her to do that i'm just like i personally wouldn't do that the first day somebody moved in and you see that they're moving personally i wouldn't do that but whatever so i went and moved my car and then nigel texted our landlords and was asking like what's the deal with parking like is there a sign parking because she was acting like it was a sign and our landlord was like it's first come first served okay so either way now she normally gets her parking spot every day because i don't know if she works from home what but they have one car and she don't be leaving every day like she'll leave like 15 minutes a day she's like you can tell she I'm, i guess works from home or whatever but the car pretty much stays in that parking spot and it'll leave 15 minutes a day it'll run to the store or whatever so the other day nigel was coming home from work 
and he saw that the parking spot was open and he was about to park in a parking spot the moment he starts parking in a parking spot this girl comes out of her house and acts like she's smoking a cigarette and now just like i think she came out here because she seen i was about to park there and i'm like well park there like we don't have a sign parking so still park there and he was like nah i'm just gonna park in another spot i'm like nah, you no, you should have parked there i was like i was really upset that he didn't park there but whatever so Fast forward yesterday when I was coming home from the East Eric Hunt and the car was gone. So I was excited. I was like, I'm about to get this parking spot. Y'all keep in mind that the parking spot that she claims is still in front of our house. It's like in between her house and my house. And it's like right there on the in between. Like it's, it's yeah, it's, it's weird. I will have to show you guys, but it's like in between my house and her house. So it's still in front of our house. So the way the parking is now, we literally only have one parking spot which Nigel usually takes because he gets home first so yesterday I came home and the parking spot was open I was like okay bet like I'm about to get this parking spot so I got the parking spot and she comes out and acts like she's smoking a cigarette I'm like I'm still gonna park there like are you trying to intimidate me like what I mean you didn't say any she didn't say anything she just walks out of her house acting like she's smoking a cigarette so I'm like I'm still gonna park there got out the car went inside the house take me a little nap because i was tired from the eastern egg hunt and nadra comes in there and is like how about the landlord's text us and said that she had told them that we had three cars and i'm just like what what now you know good and well we do not have no three cars like really so that like really annoyed me because that that really really annoyed me like it's really not that serious like it's really not serious you can park like right you like you can literally still park in a parking spot where i usually park in that's still in front of your house like it's not even that serious and they only have one car so you're doing all of that and y'all have one car and you could get that little parking spot that's not directly in front of your door but that's like right there still in front of your house but you want to make a big deal because you want that specific parking spot that's still in front of our house like i i just don't I just don't understand why people like make little things such a big deal but anyway so the landlords um we told the landlords like no we have two cars so i guess i don't know but she was mad that i got in a parking spot but i'm like i just i don't understand and me i'm like really nice person i don't like confrontation i'm not an arguer I'm not, I'm just really sweet. I'm a really sweet person, y'all. And I just don't like all of that. And so that really irked me because I'm just like, it's really not that serious. Because literally, that's probably the first time that me or Nigel have gotten that parking spot. And the fact that she's making it such a big ordeal that one day she didn't get the parking spot, it's never that serious. <laughs> If I had my way, you 
vlogging every day y'all should be so proud of me because i'm being consistent y'all yesterday was a fun and lit day that i needed with my friend so we ended up coming home um she stayed over for a little while we watched a movie which i need to finish the movie was called what was the movie called let me let me tell y'all what the movie was called because it was actually a really good and i have like 20 minutes left on it okay so the movie was called the rental. I wouldn't say she was still innocent. So it was really good. So I'm gonna finish that movie up today sometime. But also, it's currently about 11:30. I just finished my CPR class. I never told you guys, but your girl has started a business. So I started a CPR business. So basically, I teach CPR classes for the American Heart Association. And so far, I've had three customers. So that's super exciting. It's just like the little. The little milestones, you know what I'm saying? Cause like it could, it could have been nothing. Like I could have never started it, and I could have never had any customers. But I've had three so far, so I just had one. So it's sixty five dollars per customer to get your CPR certification, and I think it's about eight dollars to send them a card. So I want to say about fifty eight dollars um, with each customer profit, which is really good. So to get certified to be an instructor, I believe it cost about $350 for the certification. And then for all the equipment was about $500. So it will pay off in the long run. It has been paying it paying off, honestly. Um, Cause I'm about to use this money and go grocery shopping. Like use the money I got, pick me up some groceries, cook for the week and don't have to spend any money. But yeah y'all so i am excited to show you guys like my business journey because i want to make business cards and everything i want to get a spot to do it at because i really don't like doing it at the house before we moved i was doing it in our old apartment office but we don't have an apartment office here so i had to do it at the house which i didn't want to do but i had to do it because i didn't have nowhere else to do it. i guess i could like call around and see like where i could do it at but I don't even know where to start. But for now, I probably just hold the classes at my house. So yeah, I just finished my class for this morning. The class was at 11. She got here about 10.50 and the class was over in like 40 minutes. Um, I show her video, had her do the return demonstration and she got her certification. But hers was a recertification. So I think like for the recertification, I'm not going to like go over the top with the material I give them because it's only a recertification. So just show her video, had her demonstrate and that was it y'all. So yeah, like I said, I am off for four days. Today is day three. <sighs> it's almost over. But um, <laughs> today is Monday. I work Wednesday. So today I don't want to like do too much today. I still want to relax because I really wanted to relax yesterday but then my friend called me and was like I need a friend to come out like girl I need some support so I went out with her and we was pretty much out all day so I think today I'm just going to take it easy I'm gonna do some housework I did do some housework this morning before she came so I think I'm going to do a little bit more housework. I'm going to go get some groceries. I don't know what I'm cooking tonight, but I'll probably show y'all what I'm cooking. And yeah, y'all, I do also want to go to the gym today, which I might actually go later tonight after everything is done um, and just have like a late night gym session. That's what I'm feeling today is a late night gym session. So that's what we got going on today. Y so y'all, I just wanted to show y'all my little setup now. It ain't really nothing major, but so this is my setup. I have a knee pad, the adult mannequin, the baby mannequin, and then I was playing the videos on our TV. Hey y'all, so I am leaving from getting my lashes done. So y'all, I told you guys I was supposed to be going to the grocery store. That was a few hours ago. I made it to the grocery store. My lash tech texted me and was like, she had to cancel somebody so can you come in now and y'all i've been trying to get my eyelashes done since last week i had to miss my appointment because we were stuck in freaking florida from the bahamas they was canceling flight in the land so i had to cancel my last appointment 
and I was been texting her like I really need to get in because her calendar is booked like you have to book literally the day that her calendar opens for the month because her calendar was booked up and I'm like it's April there's no way I'm waiting to get my lashes done like there was no way so as you guys can see I was like yes sir ma'am I could come right now and they look so freaking good y'all they look so good so so good yeah she was like let me take a picture of you for my instagram page i don't have many volume sets on there and yours is looking so good i'm like yes baby they do i agree i agree so that just made my whole week that i was able to get my lashes done i am trying to figure out what i'm gonna cook for dinner making my grocery list i think i'm gonna make some type of baked chicken in the oven i don't know that's what it's looking like. Bay was like he either wants chicken or fish. And I don't really know what kind of fish I would make. So, I don't know. I could just make like some tilapia, but that's kind of boring. I mean, chicken, baked chicken of it is boring too. I'm going to see how much the salmon costs. Because I don't know if I feel like spending money on salmon. But I do kind of want some salmon. But I, honestly, I'm not really a good salmon cooker as much as Babe is a good salmon cooker. So, I don't know. I was thinking like some salmon sliders. That's what I was thinking. So, we're going to see how much they cost. It shouldn't cost much Like if I get the one in the freezer. I don't know. But, I don't know, y'all. So, maybe we will have salmon sliders. I don't know. But I will update you guys. All right, y'all, dinner for tonight. Chicken breast, green beans, and then I got some rice in the rice cooker. Some brown jasmine rice. So yeah, pretty boring meal, but that's what we got going on right now. You know, babe, when you call me, today other than me doing my face mask so my dinner I cooked yesterday that was the last clip that you guys saw that was from last night we are in a new day it's the next day I've been vlogging every day like I like I've been saying y'all so it's eight o'clock right now I do have to work tomorrow and I just wanted to come on here and give you guys like a little tip on how I maintain my mental health and how I prevent burnout from work because y'all nursing, especially being a new grad, can be very, very, very stressful. So I've been really trying to practice self-care, which I've always been into self-care and like looking cute and stuff like that. But recently I've been adding a few things to my regimen. For example, I've started getting my eyelashes done regularly every two weeks. I've been getting my lashes done. I've been trying to keep my eyebrows done. And also, I've been doing a skincare routine twice a day. I don't know if you guys can tell. My skin is looking so much clearer. Like, my skin is looking so good. Like, ooh. So, my new skin regimen is the bomb. I will make, maybe, eventually, I'll make a separate video on that. But, pretty much, especially the day before I have to work, I definitely try to practice self-care because some days i'm not gonna lie to you guys i will feel like very very sad the day before work i feel very anxious just about what's gonna happen at work the next day so sometimes like day before work i get very very anxious however i've been trying to implement self-care which is like just relaxing and just taking time to myself just laying down watching tv just chilling out before work not trying to do too much the day before work and I also try to get in the bed by like 8 o'clock 
on days where I do have work the next day so I could just relax in the bed for about an hour and a half. I try to be asleep by 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So yeah, you guys, so now we are here. Just did my face mask. I'm showered, smelling good, put my perfume on and everything. And I'm feeling good, y'all. So today I also got my eyebrows done because I was like, I got my lashes done. I might as well just go ahead and get my eyebrows done. So I got my eyebrows done and they're looking really good. I worked out this morning, so we are feeling good, y'all. And Bae is about to come and bring me some ice cream because I'm craving ice cream. So he's stopping at Basket Robin. So that is the night routine before work tomorrow. It's 8 o'clock. About to get right in the bed, wait for my ice cream, relax. Probably put a show on Netflix or either edit some vlogs. I don't know, y'all, but that's what we're going on. I guess I will update you guys tomorrow after work, before work. I don't know, but I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. I just wanted to show you guys this book real quickly. I'm in the bed getting ready for work, but I wanted to show you guys this book that I bought. If anybody's interested in labor and delivery, this is a really good book. It has just like quick facts and it's very small. So the only thing I can say about this book is that it doesn't really go too much in detail, but it gives you like just enough if you're like want to look real quick. So let me just give y'all an example. So like MVU units, it'll pretty much tell you what you need. Sometimes it'll vary based on the hospital, obviously, but this is just like pretty much like the standard for what you will need. It'll tell you how to calculate it. And like, I remember the book says that um, adequate contractions are measured above 200, but when I was at work, there was like, it's 180 to 240. So like it can differ, but I can say this is a really good book just to um have something on hand if you need to look up something real quick. And it does have like all the medications, which is also very, very, very helpful. So I'll show you all the medications in the back. It'll tell you the dosage, the cautions and comments, and it's really, really good. You definitely need to know your medications on labor and delivery. There are not a ton, but the ones that we do have, you need to know so yeah and i'm still like trying to memorize everything so that's why i just keep this on here and just when i have some extra time i'll like study it for a few minutes or whatever so you guys i'm gonna link it down below good morning you guys so it is wednesday and as you guys see i am on the way to work so my four day stretch is over i work today i'm off tomorrow then i work friday saturday and then I'm off for another three days. So this might be the last day of the vlog or maybe tomorrow will be the last day of the vlog. I don't know, but we are up. I am currently about 23 minutes from work. If you guys don't know, I do travel about, now since I moved, it's about 47 minutes to work. Before it was about 43, but I can pretty much make it in about 45 minutes. So I usually try to leave my house by, I really try to leave by 5.45 sometimes it'd be like 550 551 and i usually wake up around 520 to 530 i know i'll be getting ready in 20 minutes y'all but yeah y'all so i'm on the way to work i'm kind of i don't know how i'm feeling like like i told you guys there's some mornings where i just feel very anxious and just nervous about how the day is gonna go and i will elaborate on that more in a, a sit down video about why i be feeling anxious and like you know the real struggles of a new grad nurse so so i'm trying to wake up I'm drinking my coffee y'all and normally at work they will make some coffee and most of the time they will have creamer but i was just like let me just get a cup of coffee before I get to work and then possibly another cup of coffee after I get off of work but yeah y'all so I'm watching um the Chandler Swind I started watching it last night and it was really good but I was like I have to go to bed y'all so I went to bed I told you guys I like to be to bed by 9 30 and 9 30 I came I had to turn up the movie and go to bed so I'm trying to finish up the movie now but I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys good morning we are gonna have a great day today is going to be a great day I'm gonna learn some stuff today and you know we just gonna have a great day I'm gonna show off all my hard work and all my knowledge today yeah that's what you guys
like I tell yourself in the morning, like just tell yourself I'm gonna have a good day. Even if you don't believe it, I just started like just saying it. Of course I pray before my shift, but I also try to just say out loud, I'm gonna have a great day today. And sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But it is what it is. We're gonna have a great day. And yeah, today is gonna go by fast. It's gonna be a good and productive day. Guys, I'm just rambling, but I'm trying to honestly trying to wake myself up. <laughs> y'all so i'm gonna finish this movie while i'm driving i'm really listening to it i'm not like holding it listening it's like my phone is right here i'm listening to it so yeah and by the way have you guys seen taylor swinder because i'm just thinking in my head like yeah he was cute or whatever yeah it may seem like he had money but my thing is if you ask him for thousands of dollars like I just, I don't feel like you got it like that. Like, even if you showed me and then you asked it for me to take out all these loans, I just can't see myself like, oh, okay. And then, like, the main girl, well, the first girl on there, I don't know if it's going to be another main girl, but the first one on there was telling her story. It's like, she only, she only seen him one time and then they was just talking through text. So, I don't know if she was a little, I don't know, but... Maybe she was just so in love. I don't know. I just don't see how you like can do all of that for somebody you've only been around one time. Like I don't get it, but I don't know, y'all. Anyway, this is a really good movie. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. wanted to come on here and update you guys because your girl has been vlogging every day i've been saying that and it's a vlog i haven't been vlogging every single day as you guys saw in the last clip i was on the way to work yesterday and like i told you guys i worked yesterday and then i'm off again today and then i worked the next two days so pretty much y'all yesterday was one of those crazy 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 days that you hear about that nurses have. So yesterday was one of those days. I didn't have time to use the bathroom. I didn't have time to heat up my food. I didn't have time to drink water, coffee, nothing. I literally was running around in my patient's room all day. And the thing about labor and delivery is you may have one patient or two, but pretty much if you have a patient that is in active labor you're going to be in the room a lot the reason why is because they're in a lot of pain the baby's going to come out within a few hours so you're concerned about if they're complete you're concerned about if they're having any d cells because once the baby gets close to coming out i noticed that the patient does start having some d cells so you want to make sure that your patient's on his side is comfortable is not in too much pain they're going to be in pain but when the baby's about to come, they're in a lot of pain, y'all. Like, I would know because they'll be on that call like, like, I'm in pain. Like, you are know. Most of the time, you are know. But, yeah, so, it was a crazy day. And at 5.30, my patient decides she don't want to push no more and she wants to C-section. So, keep in mind, we're off the floor at 6.45. So, 5.30, we're rushing into the OR to do a c-section so my point being is i literally did not get off of work until 9 30 last night which means i didn't get home till about 10 20 10 30 didn't get into the bed until 11 and that's how my day went yesterday i didn't even have time to like get any clips at work for you guys but that's the real life y'all that's the real life this is a week in the life so that's the real life that's what happened that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So now we're here. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned to you guys the reason why I started working day shift is so I could get more scheduled C-sections, scheduled inductions, 
and all that good stuff because on night shift you will have c-sections however most of the time it's like stat order and you're rushing in there in an emergency and it's hard to learn that way like it's hard to learn when you're being rushed in your heart it's hard to learn in emergency situations that's something that i've noticed it's really hard to learn that way so they wanted us to switch to day shift so we could get more scheduled c-section and all that stuff so that's why i'm on day shift which I feel like it would have kind of been more beneficial if I started out on day shift as opposed to starting out on night shift. But I was hired for night shift, so that's just what they decided to do. So now we're here. I'm off today, like I said. I think today I'm just going to go to the gym and I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the gym. And I'm just going to relax today because I told you guys I like to relax the day before I have work. Especially because I do work the next two days. So my goal will be to like be done with everything for the day by 4 o'clock. And not have to cook, not have to clean, not do anything from like 4 o'clock until tomorrow. That's my goal. So I don't know. I'm going to see what I'm going to cook for dinner today. I, don't, I was going to end out the vlog today, but I might keep this vlog going just so you can see like me meal prepping for the next two days and yeah I'm gonna go into the gym that's it y'all